I would think we could just lay out flat numbers, but apparently it's not that easy. John Calipari, Jimbo Fisher, who stole the most money from their school? Don't you just have the flat numbers? Can't we just throw those out there, Caleb? Well, John Calipari at Kentucky, well, his his contract at Arkansas is $7 million a year, five years. That's what it's starting at. His contract at Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken, was um, – oh, oh, the base salary is actually a slightly less uh, – overall slightly less than eight and a half million if if everything goes well but it's, he was making over nine million i believe at kentucky actually close to 10 million at kentucky so in terms of that i i, I think jimbo fisher was making more money so you could say jimbo fisher stole more money in that regard um but you got but a championship with calipari do you got a championship with calipari to me the Jimbo Fisher thing was completely Ocean's Eleven. They walked out of there with every bit of the cash that they could have. They didn't leave anything. They didn't even clean up on the way out. Yeah, I mean, at least Calipari won a championship, so he kind of did a little something while he was there. Jimbo Fisher just walked in the room, said, may I have your $100 million? And then I'm going to step out with about 38 of it, what, unfulfilled? Yes, pretty much. Um or but 60, I'm, was it was it I, maybe more than that? Boundless moving from their two-hour minimum to turnkey operations. They've got you covered. Boundless moving in East Tennessee and Charlotte. That's boundless moving. I'm sorry to interrupt. You were going to say. I'm going to say John Calipari stole more money though, because and here's why. John Calipari is 12 years removed from a national title and just got another job that's still paying him a top 10 salary in college basketball. Yeah, but he got a job. At Arkansas, and they'll hire any idiot to work there. <laughs> I'm just saying that Sorry, John Arkansas Calip- fans, you all started it. Okay, so uh, Arkansas, I mean John Calipari. This would be like if Jimbo Fisher got fired by Texas A&M, and 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 Arkansas hired him. That this would be like that. Okay, it, because of that, John Calipari is stealing more money. Now, I will say this to draw more fair parallels. You can maybe say John Calipari going to Arkansas is more like when Jimbo Fisher left Florida State for Texas A&M because I don't I think that was a mutual neither side liked each other at that point even though he had won a national title but Jimbo Fisher was 5 years removed from a national title when he left to go to Texas A&M. John Calipari is 12 years removed from a national title. He's 5 years removed from making it to the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. And That's who Arkansas just gave a contract to. And apparently, according to reports, they are on the hook for 75% of his buyout, of his remaining base salary, if he's fired for convenience. Wow. So he's still got a pretty darn good buyout. I don't understand the buyout. I don't understand why you had to do that. And how much of the buyout did they have to pay? Has that been reported? The show represented by Banks and Jones, Tennessee's trial attorney when it comes to criminal defense or when it comes to personal injury, Banks and Jones. Banks and Jones, well, it's because they're Tennessee's trial attorney. You can play to win with Banks and Jones because they'll go to trial. You've heard of other lawyers. They say they'll go to trial and fight for you. They won't. They just want to settle. That's the easiest way out. Well, that's not Banks and Jones, led by T. Scott Jones. They won't settle. They'll go to trial for you. Tennessee's trial attorney, they play to win, truly. Tennessee's trial attorney when it comes to criminal defense or personal injury. Why settle? It's Banks and Jones. T. Scott Jones. Banksandjones.com. All right. So, what was the buyout? What was so how to leave? Because his base salary is seven million, and then when you include a one million dollar signing bonus, retention bonus of five hundred thousand each year, he basically makes eight point five million. They have to pay seventy five percent of his remaining salary, what would be on his contract. So if my math is correct, they're going to owe him a little over six million for however many years is left per year for however yeah, many years is left on his they contract. Don't, they don't owe him; they owe the school. No, I'm saying if 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 they fired Calipari. Okay, but what I want to know is how much. Oh, what you want to know is how much can get can get, can get what, Calipari. Calipari would owe. This is crazy. He would owe. So they would owe him up, like upwards of over twenty something million. He would owe them six million. To buy out his contract and accept another job. Okay, so they had to pay the six million. So basically, they paid the six million 
They paid this. Oh, no, I, no, I'm, no. You're asking the $6 million for Kentucky, what they had to pay Kentucky. Uh, that's what you're asking. Right. I didn't. I didn't. So oh, Arkansas I did not paid that. $6 million to Kentucky to hire him, right? That sounds about right. I don't think John Calipari had a buyout if he left Kentucky because he had a lifetime. I, I could be wrong on that. I mean, um, those things can be all over the map, so you might be right. But I'm just curious what Arkansas had to pay him all in all to keep him or to, to get him to take the court for – one incredibly bad press conference, just incredibly bad. I mean, you can't like that if you're an Arkansas fan. Does yes, that embarrass yes. you? Calipari had a zero dollar buyout. He left Kentucky for free. All right, sorry, Kentucky <laughs> fans. You're you got played. The, you're going to get the spotlight of stupidity. It was on Arkansas for a while. Now you get it. Newbert Collision Center for over 50 years. Newbert Collision Center is East Tennessee's best choice for quality repair and. Fantastic customer service, joenubertcollision.com, joenubertcollision.com. That is unfathomable to me. A guy that has shown he has very little loyalty, how you would write that into his contract based off one championship. You win three championships, maybe that's a discussion. But to not have a buyout in Arkansas, I bet Arkansas was stunned whenever it was. Whenever maybe it was two months ago and they started pushing Musselman out the door a little bit. Whenever they decided, or if it was two days ago, that they liked Calipari, I bet they were stunned to find out he had no buyout, Caleb. I mean, they probably knew when the contract was because this was public info when it was signed. Well, yeah, when, so I, when, yeah, when they decided that they wanted Calipari and they did their due diligence, whenever that was, whether it's the contract yeah, you're right. signed or what, you had to be like, holy oh, Anna, he doesn't have a buyout to go hire him. This is why Calipari is the one stealing the most money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just answered your own question with that and probably made me change my mind uh, a little bit because to walk out of there with no buyout is like that. I mean, that that part is a deal for Arkansas. I give it to you, but now Arkansas, I mean, Calipari is on the hook for six million if he leaves Arkansas. So, like, what happens if another school, Cal I mean, again, it's, it's not much to pay a six million dollar buyout for a coach that you're going to hire away. and No, so, and if a guy wants to leave, a $6 million isn't going to stop him, and it's not going to stop Arkansas from hiring, hiring him. If I just thought it would have been a little bit more, as much as they had. Uh, but they also have to pay – the, the, Arkansas still has to pay 75% of his remaining base salary if he's fired. So we're talking if, – if, if I mean, theoretically, you get at least three years. But say he gets three years, well – they would still owe a buyout in the tens of millions if they fired him after three years. Well, yeah, but that's that's common. I mean, it's usually about 10% of what comes on the flip side. Like, for instance, this may surprise you, but Lane Kiffin's buyout, I think, was $350,000. Southern yeah. Cal had to pay that. I mean, that was practically... Well, that was just Lane Kiffin got the best, sweetest deal in the world when he was hired at Tennessee. Yeah, but and... isn't John Calipari kind of like that? Aren't there some similarities there? I mean, I, mean, I see some some similarities there the difference being and once got a title but there i could see those two kicking it in the hot tub here you know the best thing about dynasty pools and spas is that they've got it all taken care of what does that mean well you stop by their showroom and check out their fantastic selection of top-notch spas in that showroom in athens make your pick and get ready because Dynasty Pools and Spas delivers within 125 miles of that location in Athens, that fantastic showroom. They've got the cover, the cover lifts, steps, chemicals, and everything you need. Delivery at no extra charge. They're just down the road in Athens. You pick the spa you want, and it'll be there for you. Oftentimes discounted with military and first responders discounts. Also blemish models, or just mention Off the Hook Sports. That's Off the Hook Sports for $500 off. There's a discount for you on spas made right here in East Tennessee. Support local. Dynasty Pools and Spas also has the best chemicals for you and your spa and your pool. No fillers, just the chemicals made right here in East Tennessee. Support local. Dynasty Pools and Spas, $500 off if you mention Off the Hook Sports. $500 off if you mention Off the Hook Sports. Dynasty Pools and Spas. Dynasty Pools and Spas. .com. John Calipari, Lane Kiffin, do they remind you of each other? Never they reminded me of each other. They reminded me of each other when Tennessee hired Lane Kiffin in 2009. Okay. All right. And, and the funny part about that is 
Remember that. Re remember back in the day, and it's funny because he got a lifetime contract. But remember, there was talk that people tried to compare Calipari to Nick Saban for a while, which was the dumbest, historically most transcendently yeah. stupid comparison in the history of all comparisons. A guy that hates the process has figured out a way around the process, as opposed to a guy that does love the process. <laughs>